Hi everybody, my name is Min Soo Kim, professor of Seoul National University, Korea, and also I am chair of this IEA Hip Hop Conference. Today, I'd like to talk about Korean policy to you. The title of my presentation is Korean Policy for Green World and Heat Pumping Technologies. I will start with a current overview of global climate change and policies on heat pump technology. And I will continue by introducing Green World policy initiatives that has been announced in Korea. Uh, in the past, uh, the two degree scenario was an important uh, indicator in controlling the rate of global warming. Therefore, uh, major organizations in each country has, uh, have, have implemented global warming policies based upon this. However, recently, many people think that it is difficult to control global warming at 2 degrees. So, uh, there has been a growing voice that global warming should be lowered down to 1.5 degrees. To reflect this, in the uh, year of uh, 2018, uh, the IPCC meeting in Korea implemented a 1.5 degree goal as a target temperature change with many other countries. Uh, so uh, the internal, International Energy Agency uh, had various ideas on how to achieve this goal and then there are many aspects but most important thing is to achieve zero emissions by 2050 as highlighted by the red circle uh, in this slide. The Green New Deal has been highlighted by many people and countries. The concept was first uh, implemented by US President Franklin Roosevelt to overcome the Great Depression that took place mostly during the uh, 1930s. Since then, many countries have implemented this policy in the mid-2000 as a way to slow down global warming and periodic economic recession. Uh, in the middle of uh, this global trend, President Moon uh, in Korea announced the Korean New Deal policy in July 2020 to prepare for the post-pandemic economy. The transition to green energy is aimed to boost various industries, while the move will always aid uh, global competitiveness following the onset of COVID-19. The Korean New Deal is consists of uh, two parts. First one is uh, digital New Deal, and second thing is the Green New Deal. Firstly, uh, let me talk about the left-hand side. The Digital New Deal aims to accelerate the transition toward the digital economy and investment will focus on the integration of data, network, and AI across the economy. It is uh, believed to promote the contact-free industry in the future and digitizing the social uh, uh, overhead capital. Our government has outlined the following targets for achieving the digital uh, new deal stronger integration of data network and ai and digitalization of education infrastructure fostering the contact free industry including supporting online activities okay and finally digitalization of social overhead capital which include adding digital innovations to urban spaces and building uh, logistics and distribution system. Let's move to the right hand side, the Green New Deal. The Green New Deal aims to accelerate transition toward low carbon and eco-friendly economy. The strategies are categorized by three main tasks, including investment, uh, promoting clean energy, and supporting innovation. First uh, strategy is green transition of infrastructure, Second is the low carbon decentralized energy system. And the third one is an innovation in the green energy. First, uh, the government plans to transform public uh, urban areas into green zero energy spaces, public uh, rental housing units, cultural facilities, 
public and private uh, uh, daycare centers and elementary, middle, and high schools will be remodeled or reconstructed as energy efficient so uh, it becomes eco-friendly buildings. They also plan to invest in uh, 25 smart green cities, numerous city forests, 16 national parks, and plan to restore 25 damaged urban areas. In addition to terrestrial, marine, and urban ecosystem restoration, they plan to build a management system for clean water supply to secure drinking water safety and strengthen disaster prevention management by using advanced technologies such as uh, the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence. Second, the Green New Deal plans to increase the usage of decentralized low-carbon energy by introducing 1.3 million electric vehicles and uh, 200,000 hydrogen fuel cell cars into the market. The number of uh, charging stations will also increase. Old diesel cars will be swept for LPG or hybrid or electric vehicles and proper car disposal will receive uh, some kind of support. For uh, energy conservation, intelligent smart grid systems will be set up and the supply of clean and renewable energies like wind, solar, and hydroelectric power are expanded. Moreover, to support green industry innovation, the government plans to build 100 smart factories that minimize pollution by reusing industrial heat and waste while using uh, renewable energy. A combined 1,700 clean plants providing technical support uh, for uh, reducing contaminants will also be added. Overall, they plan to promote uh, prospective business to lead the green industry and establish low carbon and green industrial complexes. The government also announced a budget to lay the foundation for green innovations through R&D and financial sector. Well, let's move on and talk about uh, why Korea is so sensitive to uh, these environmental issues. Uh, surprisingly, uh, according to a recent survey, Korea uh, ranks uh, the ninth in the world carbon emission uh, rankings. Apart from its GDP, if you compare the size of uh, our country's uh, population and land uh, uh, area, the country emits a very large amount of carbon dioxide. So we also feel a sense of responsibility and we we'll try to uh, sort uh, these problems through the Korean Green New Deal. Uh, Korea plans to achieve uh, the 2050 uh, carbon neutral plan by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and promoting renewable energy. Now, uh, I'd like to explain the changes in the eco-friendly uh, energy portion through the distribution chart of the Korean energy sources. The total power generation capacity in uh, 2019, it goes up to 125,000 megawatt. Uh, it's an increase of about 64% over uh, 20 years. At uh, more uh, granular uh, level uh, in 2000, renewable energy generated about uh, 1.5 uh, megawatt, but in uh, 2019, it has grown to more than uh, 15,000 megawatt, uh, which is about 10 times over the same period. Let's take a, a closer look at renewable energy which has increased by nearly 10 times over 20 years, just I mentioned, and accounts for about 13% of power generation. Out of this, solar uh, energy uh, made up the biggest part, around 67%, and wind and uh, water power accounted for 10% uh, uh, respectively. Uh, to accelerate the green transition, the Korean government also announced a 3020 renewable energy plan 
by which it will generate 20% of energy from the renewable energy sources by the year uh, 2030. In order to achieve 20% of renewable energy facilities, more than 95% uh, of new generation capacity, the power generation capacity, needs to be expanded with solar and wind power. There are two main approaches to achieve this goal. The first small scale goal is promoting uh, civil participation. The second goal is virtually important, which is mass installation of solar panels in buildings and apartments. Well, in order to achieve this, aside from the participation of uh, private or uh, public buildings, large-scale renewable energy complexes by the government are also necessary. Well, here's an example uh, which shows uh, this. A project being pursued in the uh, Semangum area, and the government has uh, designed the Semangum area an uh, eco-friendly energy complex and 2.1 gigawatt capacity. Floating solar power plant is uh, under construction. You may see the first picture uh, there, and that's the Semangum uh, construction. In addition, it plans to cover about 16.6 uh, gigawatt of power uh, generation along with the wind power complex in Buan Gun and Shinan Gun area, which is uh, uh, the picture below. Uh, the, well, uh, here is another example, even more uh, groundbreaking. Uh, Shinangun area is uh, famous for uh, salt farms, I mean, uh, making salt, on the Korean Peninsula. Salt field must have good natural light and shallow depth. And using these natural characteristics, we plan to build a solar power complex. This plan is to build solar uh, panels submerged at the bottom of the salt farm. It will generate power through uh, light transmitted through uh, crystal clear water and it has an advantage in maintaining uh, salt production because the panel is cleaned when the salt is mined. Well, another policy that uh, quite recently uh, President Moon mentioned uh, is, I guess, 2050, Carbon Neutral Strategy of Korea. The key element of uh, 2050, uh, Carbon Neutral Vision, are uh, the same as follows. First one is the expanding the use of uh, clean power and hydrogen uh, across all sectors. Uh, second thing is that uh, improving energy efficiency. Third one is commercial deployment of carbon remover and uh, other future technologies. Fourth one is scaling of the uh, circular uh, economy to improve uh, industrial sustainability. Finally, enhancing carbon sink is the main part of uh, the carbon neutral policy. So hydrogen is one of uh, the future energy sources that will play an integral part of uh, the Green New Deal policy in Korea and energy conversion. In this context, in, uh, uh, in uh, 2019, uh, Hydrogen Roadmap was announced, mapping out the future of hydrogen energy by 2040. First of all, uh, if you look at the chart uh, here on this slide, and fuel cell vehicles are expected to show explosive uh, growth from about 2,000 units in uh, 2018 to uh, about 6 million units in the year of uh, 2040. In order to meet this growth, hydrogen supply is expected to increase while the cost of hydrogen okay, should be significantly lowered and uh, we are uh, building many, many hydrogen uh, stations. Yeah, another interesting trend among uh, the very big uh, Korean enterprises, especially uh, uh, I mean, they are following uh, the government policies. In particular, as shown in the photo above, uh, SK Group and Hyundai Motors Group, 
signed a business uh, agreement agreeing to uh, agreeing to uh, invest a uh, hydrogen technology on a large scale. In this photo, uh, Chet Taewon, the left hand side, very rich guy, the chairman of the SK Group, and uh, President uh, Jung Ui Sun, uh, another rich man, the chairman of the Hyundai Motor Group. Okay, they are shaking hands and they. Uh, uh, talked about the cooperation as uh, leaders in hydrogen power generation and hydrogen vehicle industry. And I'd like to talk about natural resources and heat pumps in line with the purpose of this conference. Okay? Looking at the heat pump industry, Korea has a very uh, good natural resource network due to a relatively low fuel cost and tight uh, supply chain because our uh, Korea is not that big country so uh, we have uh, the gas lines okay as you can see on the left hand side figure that uh, that is I mean covering almost all lands and also uh, electricity bills in Korea are about one third of other expensive countries and also natural gas costs are quite low uh, of course, uh, the electricity cost is slightly going up, but this is uh, not a big problem uh, when we use uh, heat pump systems. I'd like to uh, introduce a uh, rather old traditional Korean uh, heating system. We use the uh, ondol system, which is a floor heating system, so that uh, hot flue gas is going beneath the floor and heating the floor and then goes out and also the floor is normally made by stone which is a heat storage material so uh, our ondol system is one of the very uh, common and one of the very uh, efficient heating system in modern times various types of heating methods such as gas boilers and heat pumps are used in particular, the change in the residential environment into high-rise apartment and the development of uh, individual heating system becomes very popular. But uh, frankly speaking, the heat pump is not that popular in Korea. That's somehow because the, all the houses are rather equipped with boilers or uh, district heating systems. So district heating company is supplying hot water to uh, this apartment complex that is very cheap and very useful. And heat pump price, okay, the unit price is rather expensive than the gas boiler. That's one of the obstacles Then the people are not installing much of the heat pump systems into their apartment house or a single house. In household uh, applications, the heat pump systems are not so uh, much expanded. Uh, but uh, when you look at the right hand side picture, we can see uh, a lot of increase in heat pumps uh, capacity uh, in Korea. That is somehow because uh, geothermal heat pump systems and also seawater heat pump systems and also hydrothermal heat pump systems are designated as renewable energy sources. And the government provide some subsidies. Unfortunately, air source heat pump systems, which is not at this time treated as renewable energy sources, and then uh, uh, it doesn't have any subsidies from the government. That's, uh, we don't have much of spread of uh, this air source heat pump systems in house or building applications. In Europe, Geothermal, hydrothermal, and aerothermal uh, heat pump systems are treated as renewable energy sources. But in Korea, geothermal and hydrothermal are treated as renewable energy sources, but the aerothermal. Therefore, it seems that the energy conversion could be greatly achieved by using a uh, household or large heat pump system that can extract some uh, renewable energy from the atmosphere. Yeah, I'd like to conclude my talk. Well, uh, in this uh, period of global warming, 
uh, every country should uh, cooperate to solve environmental and economic problems. And also in Korea, we proposed green new deal systems and then also carbon neutral policy. And also we are building offshore uh, wind power uh, generation system and also photovoltaic uh, complex is being built. Heat pump systems are slightly tricky. Geothermal and uh, water source, uh, it's been uh, well uh, distributed and then well uh, expanded because uh, it is uh, treated as renewable energy sources, but the air source heat pump systems are not so well uh, treated as renewable energy sources. But uh, when uh, our government designate air source heat pump systems as renewable energy sources, then I guess the growth of the heat pump industry uh, will be quite visible. Thank you very much for your attention and I'd like to take some questions from you.